and things like that. Still references to the first melody, and then eventually this thing builds to a very tense climax, and the orchestra makes an incredible roar, and at that point I did this, which I can't believe I did. Uh, and that is out of the roar, you suddenly hear this. in its entirety. Mm -hmm. uh, but not just with that, because that would be a little bit blatant. So How while, we, while we hear that chorale going on, the orchestra goes right on doing their other things. So this thing is going on two layers. So, so you sort of hear music that's three centuries apart talking to each other. The chorale, by the way, comes from around the 16th century. But the harmonization is by Johann Sebastian Bach. The chorale is, all I mentioned must sterb and all men must die. Donald Erb. Whose concerto way, for brass and orchestra you shall hear in it? But the Donald Erb. Whose concerto for brass and orchestra you shall hear in it? Donald Erb. I think it. I hope it is. And I certainly Donald don't mean Erb. this in any kind of a, a sense that I'm trying to write down to the audience. I don't want to do that at all. But I really think that hopefully what I've done is to hand you a piece that you can get a handle on and follow me through it. That's what I'd like.
concerto for brass and orchestra. You shall hear in it. But the conversation is by Johann Sebastian Bach. The chorale is all I mentioned. You must stare, but I'm not stuck.